Hi guys, John Watts here from the True Golf Academy. You've joined me at Drayton Park Golf Club and today I want to do a quick video talking about how to stop getting that club trapped on the inside. So if you're a player, a right-handed golfer, and you're getting the club trapped too far behind you, what ball flight you would expect to see would be draws on your good shots, but your bad ones will tend to be pushes or blocks to the right and hooks to the left. For a left-handed golfer, if you had the same problem where you got the club trapped too far behind you, your good one again uh, would be the draw shape starting to the left, moving to the right. Your bad ones would be a push to the left or a hook to the right. So it's a, it's a fault that uh, we see at times. I mean, I, I'd say the most common fault is normally the opposite and it's an over the top out to win swing path. But this is a, a, a fault some golfers get and it can be as destructive at times, more destructive. Uh, Lee Trevino obviously famously said, you can talk to a fade, but a hook won't listen. Uh, if that ball is over bending from right to left for me as a right handed golfer, it's also going to be bouncing and rolling a lot way, a long way that way. So it can really get you in some, some deep trouble. So I've got a real simple exercise that's going to give you the feeling of keeping that club more in front of you rather than the club getting trapped too far behind you. So what I've got here is just a bit of tubing. Um, so it's, it, it can be anything really, a small box or something on those lines. But I've just got a little bit of tubing that's only a couple of inches off the floor level and I've placed my golf ball a club head's width in front of it there. You'll notice actually on the video that most of the tubing is behind the golf ball. I've only got a little bit of it in front because the club, if it does move on a really nice path, will be moving from in to square to in. Okay, so as that club moves more inwards on the way through, we don't want to be punished and hit the tube on the, on the way through after impact. So I've got very little of the tubing in front of the golf ball. The idea would to be having most of it behind the golf ball. I've got a club head's width in there, and I'd go ahead and make some swings and then put the golf ball in the way. And it's that feeling of trying to keep the club more in front of your chest rather than getting that club falling, dropping behind you. If that is a fault of yours, a good feeling for you is actually to get your arms almost feeling like you're throwing the club away from you and creating a little bit more width on the downswing rather than when that club gets trapped behind you, you'll tend to get in a very trapped, very narrow position. And from there, you can be hitting destructive blocks to the right hooks to the left, as I said, for a right-handed player. So I've got that ball, as I said, one club head's width in front. I've got a buggy in my way now. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit some balls, trying to miss the tubing. So I'm just gonna have that rehearsal one more time, keep the club more in front of my hands, and through. Good. Pretty good contact, I'm just gonna hit one more there. So it's a slight pull. What I'm encouraging here is a, a slightly out to in swing path. So my divot line's going a little left. Um, so I'd expect to see a bit of a pull or a bit of a fade. Um, if you are a player getting the club trapped on the inside, you've got a swing path very much into out where the club is actually working this way. So what we're trying to encourage is the opposite movement in practice where you're almost feeling the club actually moving a little bit more out to win. So pulls and fades from this exercise are fine. So one more in good golf setup. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and miss that tubing. That was actually pretty good. That was the best of the bunch there, straight down my target line, pretty good divot, didn't st disturb the tubing at all. If this is a fault of yours, this exercise will really help next time you're on the driving range practice area, maybe even in the air, in the garden using some airflow balls. Get out a bit of tubing or something pretty similar. Get most of it behind the golf ball. Give yourself about a club head's width, okay? And try and hit the ball or the airflow ball, miss the tubing. It's a great exercise to get that feeling of the club staying more in front of you rather than getting trapped behind you. I hope that video has helped. If it has, please check out the channel for plenty of other content coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks, guys.